Hello everybody, I'm Bobo. Welcome to Boboonomics. Today I'll be presenting my analysis on if Donald Trump is a good president for the stock market. Let's jump right into it. So whenever I say good for the stock market in a reference to this video, I'll be talking about how Donald Trump's actions and presence affect the stock market's movement and perceptions of the economy. I was originally thinking of making this video about if Donald Trump is good for the economy, but I realize that's pretty subjective and not all of us have the same definition of what's good. So we're going to go with stock market because that's more objective on what an upward trend is. Regardless, it's important to note you can't just say this is Obama's economy or this is Trump's economy or something. You have to look at their specific policies and if either president specifically addressed a certain area or industry. And I think it's important to note that presidents can start affecting the stock market and the economy before they're even inaugurated. Specifically for the stock market, there are four main factors that most people agree that affect the stock market. Investors will look at government, international transactions, speculation and expectation, and supply and demand. The main things that we're going to be looking at are speculation and government. Starting right at the 2016 election, we can see as soon as Trump wins the electoral vote confirmed, the stock market jumps up the day after. This indicates that investors and speculators predict that Trump would be good for the stock market or and stabilize the economy. Now I know what some of you are thinking right now. Well, the market could have just gone up anyway and it has nothing to do with Trump. But it's a universally accepted guideline that strong correlation can indicate how and why investors invest the way they do. Make no mistake, Wall Street and even common everyday investors are looking at news constantly to determine what's going to be the best return on investment for them. I strongly suggest watching my previous video on why correlation is underrated and why we use it so much within market contexts. Even critics of Trump, as you can see here, acknowledge that he can affect the stock market. So if you can criticize him for when it goes down as he's talking, you can also see how it's affected whenever he does something positive. Following election day, we can also look at inauguration day, where he had the best inauguration day for the Dow since President Reagan. Now, to focus more on policy, we're going to look at the effects of Trump's tax cuts on the stock market. As we can see here and here, Trump's tax cuts lifted the stock market both when they were passed and whenever they were actually implemented. Trump promised tax cuts during his campaign in 2016, which is why many people were optimistic when he was elected, and now they see that tax cuts are going to increase spending and let people be richer in general. Even anecdotally, if you just look at the news during these recent times, we can see as Trump delivers press briefings or positive news, the stock market will gradually go up. Next time you watch a press briefing or something live, with this view, you can check it out for yourself. When Bernie Sanders dropped out of the race in April 2020, the stock market jumped again, indicating that Biden and Trump are preferable to investors for the stock market. Now remember, it's possible that this could all be a coincidence, but we do know that the market reacts to news strongly, so it could very well be true. In conclusion, we can criticize all we want on actual plans and policies, but isolating for the stock market that Trump can directly control it seems that he's been relatively good or positive for stock market performance. If you invested before Trump or during the coronavirus downturn, you're likely making capital gains and will continue to do so. For the sake of transparency, I'd like to note that I'm not a Trump supporter and didn't vote for him when I voted in past elections. But I'm also not a mindless Trump hater and try to be objective about him. I'm no CFA or stockbroker, but it could be smart to add money to your portfolio when you expect a payroll tax cut a Trump re-election, or other market news that could greatly give optimism for U.S. markets. Just for fun, here's a picture of the stock market under Trump, and then here are some graphs that kind of relate Trump to other presidents. I picked one for old presidents, here it is, and then one for more modern presidents. Remember that they all had different recessions and recoveries that they didn't really control, so the stock market could also be like natural corrections. Alright, as you guys can see, this video took a lot of research and analysis to make. I'd greatly appreciate if you like and subscribe so I can keep making more unique and informative videos. 
and I can have more consistent uploads. Please leave suggestions and questions I can answer for future videos. I will be uploading more soon. I appreciate you for making it to the end of my first main video ever. Thanks for being a part of this journey, and thank you for watching. Have a good day. Seeing a lot of good things, a lot of very smart people investing in the stock market right now.